Good morning, children. Today, let us study about the globalization and the Indian economy. Before starting the class about the globalization and Indian economy, do you know what is globalization? Globalization means interconnection or interrelationship with other countries for trade. You know that uh, many countries they started business in all over the world. That uh, corporations, uh, they can call it as multinational corporations or multinational companies or multinational corporation that uh, flourished all over the world. So multinational companies, their aim was to establish and develop their trade relations with many countries and to flourish their trade. In order to flourish their trade, they found many countries and they invest money. That investment we can call it as foreign investment. They invest money for money to different parts of the countries. And they started many business or trade relations. That we can call it as multinational corporations. Multinational due to the or due to the emergence of multinational corporations, due to the emergence of this globalization, there are a lot of changes that happens. What are the benefits of uh, globalization? First of all, we can discuss about uh, the merits or we can say the benefits of uh, globalization. What are the merits or benefits of globalization? This globalization increases the volume of trade in goods and services. It increases the volume of trade in goods and services. It means that uh, goods and services increase rapidly. Goods and services increase rapidly. You know that uh, if uh, we purchase a product, you, uh, it may be manufactured in Japan. Suppose if we purchase that product, wherever we will go, wherever, suppose if uh, I want to get a job in abroad, if I, um, at that time I can get a service from that country also. Service from, suppose if I stay in India also, service is there. Service that services I will get, if you purchase any goods, sir, if you purchase if you buy any goods sir, from, a, 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 from a multinational company or multinational corporation or uh, any kinds of business enterprise, sir, if you purchase sir, the service and rates are all over the world. Multinational corporations or multinational companies sir, that are uh, all over the world, they establish their, they establish their companies. So service and rates also they start. So that uh, whatever the products uh, you purchase, uh, whatever the products you have, you will get a service from that country. Otherwise, service and dates are there. Authorized the service and from that authorized the service and dates, uh, you will get a service and your uh, goods will be goods will either replace or it will, you will get a service. So you know that uh, globalization helps to increase uh, the development of uh, goods uh, as well as services. Services. Uh, I already explained about the service. Then goods. Sir. See, suppose uh, if you go anywhere in the world, uh, you will get the same product. You will get that. If that company, multinational corporations, uh, that goods, uh, definitely you, uh, you can purchase from anywhere, that, uh, anywhere, from anywhere in the world. Because vast, uh, you will get uh, goods uh, from anywhere in the world. Because almost all the countries uh, they establish uh, trade relations. So that, that, that is nothing but the globalization. That is globalization, globalization means the interrelations or interconnection between many countries. One country to another many countries. So there will be an interconnection between one country to another country. For example, India. India. Many countries. India. India can go, India can make trade relations invest your money in any country at the same time other countries also invest in India. Other countries also can invest in money in India. Other countries also can invest in money in India. So that investment we can call it as foreign investment. That investment we can call it as foreign investment. Many countries they invest in money in many multinational corporations. And they will start, they want to make a trade uh, in India also. So that they can invest, invest and they can invest money in India. Once they invest money in India, they become the part of that company. They become the part of that company. Once they invest money, definitely they become part of that company. And they can flourish trade. They can flourish trade. 
so that goods can be produced. You can start a business in any any country if you think that there will there you will get a better service and you will get raw materials, goods and other things. And transportation also is very easy for you. So you, you can also start. If you have money, you can also start. You can also invest money. That investment you can call as over investment. You can also invest money. You can also become a part of these uh, companies so that uh, this company will flourish and the goods will be expanded. The goods that will be expanded in all over the world. Your goods you can sell in, sell in any country without any restrictions because globalization helps uh, to make connection with the other countries. That is called interrelationship with the other countries. There will be interrelation with the other countries, interconnection with the and uh, integration with the other countries. So that you once you will be tie up with another country, you will integrate with another country. Which country you, that your company integrated in that company, you can also start a, uh, start your business or trade or company or anything like that. Once you start that company, you will get uh, labels, labels. That labor supply. Nowadays, uh, these multinational company they are depend, they may, mainly depend on labor supply companies. Labor, is suppose just inform to the labor supply. And uh, they will provide a labor. So uh, you know that in many com uh, companies, uh, they no need a permanent workers. Why they no need a, especially multinational com companies or corporations, uh, they always prefer these, uh, uh, we can temporary workers, they never prefer permanent workers. Why they uh, did not prefer, why they didn't or did not prefer these uh, uh, temporary workers? Because the main re reason is that only a short period of time there will be uh, the, there will be the need of for many workers. There will be need of many workers uh, for a short period of time, so that uh, they will get they will get labors, uh, labor from labor supply. From labor supply they will get uh, labors. They can just uh, depend on labor supply. They will provide labor to them. Uh, at that peak time, uh, peak time they will uh, they can do this work with the help of these workers. Afterwards uh, they will withdraw from uh, that job, go from that company, so that uh, the company will be benefited. Why? Because company no need to give high uh, salary, no need to give high salary. Second, the uh, company never pay, uh, company no need to give PF or provident fund, fund. No need to give provident fund. Uh, then uh, the company no need to give provident fund. The company no need to think about their gratuity allowance. Uh, then uh, leaves, uh, leave, uh, paid leave. Uh, so no need to give such a kind of benefits to them. Paid leave and other things no need to give. Once they will join the company as a from the labor supplies officer if they come and if they do their job. That after the peak time they can uh, they can withdraw from that job. The company also did not give any kind of restrict any kind of uh, things that uh, you have to stay this throughout the year. No such kinds of agreement or anything like that. There is no contract or agreement there. Those who join those who join these uh, multinational corporations or multinational companies as laborers, as workers. So the, the company also prefer that those who uh, those who comes as temporary workers, company also prefer because only a short period of time they have peak work. That times so these workers can do afterwards they can withdraw from the work and the company can uh, maintain with some uh, few uh, few workers with, the, with uh, some few workers they can handle that uh, company. Moreover, you know that in the previous class I told you that uh, most of the producers, uh, even they depend on small producers, small producers. Multinational corporations they depend on small producers. Small producers, if uh, they are fabricating or, or anything like that, if uh, uh, people are uh, uh, people, some people are uh, so that uh, this order can be given to them, so that they will do within a short period of time. The time will be allowed, the duration will be within that they will uh, they will make these types of products. They, these products they can give to these uh, multinational corporations. This multinational corporation, what they will do? Uh, they will assess. They will assess the quality of that product. If they think that the quality of the product is good, definitely they, they, uh, what they will do, they will export to different parts of the country sir, and they will brand it the names of the name, branded that name, name of their company and uh, uh, then quality checking after they will send, uh, send it in different parts of the country. Sir. Because that is a multinational corporation. So they can, they can sell in any parts of the countries where they will get more profit, they can sell it. 
so that uh, this multinational company can so the, the so first uh, the first thing is that uh, this multinational company so this uh, due to globalization uh, increase in the volume increase in the volume of trade and uh, goods and uh, especially goods and uh, services you will get a better service best service uh, from the multinational companies because many multinational companies they are they are they are having competitions so uh, they want to produce the best quality product one company they want to produce produce uh, quality product at the same time another company want to overtake this product because they want to put uh, another high quality products so there will be a perfect competition there will be a competition between these companies for corporations so that uh, the, it will be benefited to the consumers only because consumers will get the best quality product and as moreover service each and every goods there will be services service and maybe service and service centers are established all over the all over the world globally that the service centers are that are established so that we can produce the service and the where there is where it is available so that we can uh, go to that service center you will get a good service uh, good service from that uh, company so next the inflow of private foreign capital and export orientation of the economy that was the second point the inflow of private foreign capital But private foreign capital it means that many many countries uh, many countries what they did uh, they invest money invest money suppose suppose in India India uh, suppose India decided uh, decided to start uh, uh, foreign investment decided to uh, decided to take foreign investment India decided suppose if India want foreign investment they they can uh, the, the rules flexible uh, rules. Uh, they can introduce flexible rules if flexible rules will uh, that due to that flexibility many company may uh, decide to invest money in our country so that uh, our country's development may uh, development, uh, development may happen our country uh, you know that developing country uh, due to the establishment of many multinational companies our country become a developed country and people will get many people they will get a choice of job they will get a job also so in private foreign capital the inflow of private foreign capital and export orientation of the export orientation of the economy and economical development economical development may happen next you know that the it improved productive efficiency and healthy commodity improved productive efficiency production will be best quality product will we will get the consumers will be benefited because the best quality product will be due to globalization the best and suitable product will be we have preferences suppose if you want to buy a particular good or a particular commodity and definitely you can go uh, you you will get the best things what you prefer in your mind same like that product you will get why how you will get because the product be variety of products are there we have choices variety variety of products which one is suitable for whether it may be big size or small size or whatever your color your taste your preference your size uh, it may be big or small size uh, then uh, all these kinds uh, you have choices for this variety variety of goods are small big color different color different choices so that you can according to your ambition you will get that good according to your ambition you will get good so due to the due to globalization the people they will get the choice they will get the best quality product they will get the best quality product best quality product productive efficiency that we call the productive best quality product for efficient efficiently production will be efficient man the production best quality product suitable product which one you prefer that same you will get from that from that company whether it may be whether it may be in india or abroad also through online also you will get online shopping also you will get that products now we have enough choices also in earlier time before globalization we did not have these kinds of choices we did, uh, did not have these kinds of choices why because of the, there is no other companies competing with the, uh, another company no, no companies are existing in earlier time because no globalization so uh, no globalization indian indian product if it is not uh, high uh, not a good quality product indian product we are forced to buy that product only if one product only if one product only uh, and the product is not showing any kinds of quality so we are forced to buy that thing only because there is no choice there is no choice if we have choice only we will purchase the best one we will select and buy the best one. best 
one. So that here choice is there. Here choice we have uh, choices because many company uh, companies they are uh, they are they are having competition. They are having competition. Which competition? Perfect competition. It means that uh, they are they want to produce the best quality, best technological advanced advanced product they want to produce. They want to produce the best technological advanced product, best quality product. They want the variety product and it will be attracted to the consumers. Such kinds of products they will produce. Once it will produce, it will attract the consumers and consumers will purchase. <coughs> so that there will, there will be a perfect competition. There will be perfect competition among the companies. Among the companies. That is benefited for the consumers only. Consumers will get a best quality product, productive efficiency and uh, consumers will get a chance to uh, get a chance to get the best products due to healthy competition. This the competition we can call the healthy competition because one product produced by one company, that the company produces uh, uh, best quality. Another company want to overtake this company by producing um, best best quality, another another product they want to produce or uh, introduce new technology, technological advancement will be in that product. So that the people will prefer from uh, first product to second product, people will prefer. So that each, each and every company they are having healthy competition. That was, that was one, of the, uh, one of the benefits, benefits of globalization. Second, they are associated Same products many companies are producing. Same product. The, if you think about one product, the, these products there are a lot of products are alternatives are there. Alternatives, if, uh, suppose if that price is high, we can go to the uh, another one. We can go to another one. That you will your uh, your want will be satisfied. Your want will be satisfied. Your want will be satisfied. If you if you want the best quality product, branded product products available. If you don't want the branded product, but uh, you want a uh, cheap product, okay, you, that will be that will be available in the market. So, if it may be uh, best quality product or branded products, or uh, according to your uh, affordability, you can purchase. According to your affordability, how much money you have, as per that you can purchase the goods. Uh, so that it, all these goods are available in the market. The preference is your, your choice. That is your choice. You can purchase whether. Uh, good quality product or branded quality product or according to your income you can purchase. So you know that uh, that you need to produce uh, vast volume of output. You know vast volumes of output. Uh, so one product have similar products, same product, similar products are there. These similar products from that in many similar, these similar products you can uh, purchase your preference. According to your preference uh, you can purchase because you have vast outputs. You have vast Outputs. Next, uh, in the in the nowadays you know that uh, due to the uh, expansion of globalization, income has generated. Many families their income uh, income that goes uh, goes uh, up, that uh, rise up, that uh, income that rise up because they uh, they will get a chance to work in these multinational corporations, uh, so that uh, they will get a high income. Moreover, workers uh, the workers are getting job. Uh, workers uh, nearby workers. Uh, Companies nearby, uh, nearby workers, uh, they will get a definitely job in that uh, company so that uh, they will get uh, they will become also definitely. Moreover, the companies uh, the, uh, having many branches all over the world. The companies are uh, that is franchise. Uh, so the, the, the companies having many branches all over the world. So that from this company, from headquarter, from one headquarter are many branches. One headquarter that is controlling everything from one headquarter, and from that many branches are there. In all over the world, many branches are there. Through these branches, sir, they can sell these goods, sir. And many service centers are there. Many service centers are there. And these are through these service centers also people will get service. And many uh, branches are there. From these branches, many parts of the world branches are there. So that uh, uh, this from these branches, if you want the best, the best quality product, then you will get. You will get that product. Nowadays, you know that uh, the mobile phone, uh, then uh, other kind of uh, computer, mobile phone, laptop, and other things uh, are largely, largely selling in different parts of the world. 
because that the demand is increasing day by day. The demand of laptop, mobile phone, all these things are increasing day by day. Why? Because nowadays due to this corona, uh, the COVID nineteen, so that it will, everybody wants this smartphone or uh, laptop and other kinds of things. These are all uh, produced by this multinational companies. These are all produced by multinational companies. Companies, because nowadays you know that we can't go to school and we uh, we can't sit in the classroom and we can't study because the, due to this particular situation all over the world this problem is coming due to this particular situation so the demand for smartphone is increased day by day. May, then then uh, the laptop also demand for laptop that also increased increased nowadays. So multinational companies that will be benefited from that they can send the, sell their products. They can sell their products and many companies they, uh, they are having healthy competition to sell, sell their products uh, to the consumers, to many, many parts of the country they want to sell their products. So increased volume of output, uh, income, income generated and employment, many people they will get uh, employment through this uh, globalization, due to the advancement of globalization, many people uh, they are getting job employment. They get, uh, employment uh, and uh, their family status also increased due to uh, due to the increase of their uh, income so that uh, their family status also increased so you know that uh, economically benefited due to the globalization many countries economically benefited these are the benefits of this uh, globalization once again i just uh, want to point out uh, point out all these benefits first one increase in the volume of trade in goods and uh, services second in flow of private foreign capital and export orientation of the economy. Third one, improved productive efficiency and healthy competition. Fourth one, increased volume of output, income and employment. So next we want to study about the negative impact. These are the benefits, uh, these are the merits or benefits of this uh, globalization. Next, I want to describe about the negative, what are the negative impact of this globalization. The, due to globalization, you know that it affects the sustainable growth of the country. It definitely affects the sustainable growth of the country. Many countries, they cannot, they can't uh, develop their sustainable development. Because the main reason is that many multinational companies that have flourished in their country and they cannot improve their Sodeshi products. They can't improve their Sodeshi products. They can't sell their Sodeshi product. That, that was one of the impact. You know that Sodeshi product or internal products or domestic products, you can say domestic products or internal products or Sodeshi product. These products they can't sell in the market because uh, this company may be and labor, manual labor. So that these companies uh, products they can sell at a high price only. They can't uh, reduce uh, or they can't decrease the products or uh, uh, that products uh, uh, price they can't uh, reduce. They can't reduce the price of that product because uh, they used many uh, labels so that they can't uh, reduce. At the same time, multinational companies that comes to our country and uh, they sell at a cheap rate because these are all machine made goods. Machine made goods. So, so that what happens it badly affected many people. It badly affected many people, especially uh, especially the small producers. Small producers uh, it's badly affected. First thing you it badly affected the small producers. The main reason is that the small but for example, the cottage, cottage industries. Cottage industries and the small producers that badly because cottage industries you know that almost all the members of the families uh, they join together and they do that work. And collective effort is there. After that collective effort may be taken many days for that work is to complete one uh, embroidery sari or uh, fabricated cloth or such things may take um, then these stitching, embroidery and other things may take uh, many days work. Many days of hard work of the family members or any other members. So that they can't sell their product at a low price or cheap rate. At a cheap rate they can't sell in the market. Definitely they can't sell in the market at a cheap rate. Why? Because more labor, that's more labor, more hard work, maybe labels work, maybe one family full members they work hard for that products. So that they can't sell at a low price. They calculate 
calculate their expenditure then only they can sell it at the same time um, uh, multinational corporations and uh, multinational companies what they will do they will sell their products uh, uh, at a cheap price so that they due to this competition what will happen sir small producers uh, see it badly it badly affected the it badly affected the small producers definitely it badly affected the small producers when once it affect the small producers you know that what will happen you know the small producers they can withdraw from their uh, from the hereditary uh, these works are hereditary works you know that in ancient times uh, many hereditary works uh, that have existed were fabricated then weaving uh, spinning and uh, dyeing works uh, then stitching works uh, then um, uh, some kinds of uh, architectural works uh, so uh, these kinds of works these are all hereditary uh, some kinds of uh, 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 Style, these type of uh, embroidery, stitching, these kinds of works that are uh, hereditary works, uh, they learn from their uh, parents, and afterwards uh, they, they do this work, then they, they they pass it to the next generation. Like this hereditary, they are doing this work. All of a sudden, when these uh, companies uh, that comes to our country, definitely these small producers, uh, they can't sell their products at the cheap rate. Due to this uh, competition, what will happen? Uh, the small producers. They may sometimes they may migrate to many many other places, many other cities. Uh, they may migrate from the villages to the cities, and uh, they may uh, do certain odd jobs like rickshaw pullers, uh, rickshaw rickshaw pulling or vendor, uh, rickshaw pullers or anything like that. What they have to do? They were forced to do uh, such work, jackies, uh, vendors, uh, rickshaw pullers, uh, cobblers, such kind of work they want to do in the cities. They are, from that you know that we do. With that lesson, they may be living in that uh, slum area. In that slum area only they can live. They can't live in the main areas of the cities. They may be in the corner of any city. That is slum area they may live. They can't live in their house for life. So their uh, their let uh, on their family needs to poverty. Their family may need to poverty. Sometimes uh, these people may die due to hunger. Due to hunger, these people may uh, die due to the emergence of this globalization. This happened. the emergence of globalization is so that also what they have done about the poor this artists and some other members definitely it will be affected so they have affected the affected the sustainable work as well second one the income income in you are second one you know that some people some countries some uh, investors uh, their income income uh, income uh, that will increase their income will increase definitely their income how uh, their income will increase You know that uh, they deposit, they depo- deposit crores uh, of rupees for a company. Sometimes uh, they deposit crores uh, of rupees. First they study about uh, whether uh, study about the company whether I deposit uh, uh, that much of amount, uh, I will get a profit or not. Whether that company is a flourishing company, whether the, the service are good, whether uh, in that company the company will flourish. They think about all these matters. All of a sudden they want. deposit that you know whether that rules rules of that country is flexibility is there in the, the, the rules of that country uh, so that they will think of all these aspects they only the deposit but once they deposit that foreign uh, money or foreign amount or foreign deposit once they deposit definitely that due to that emergence of the flourishing of that company emergence of that company uh, that definitely they will get more income so that these those who are engaged in activities they become very rich in the society at the same at the same time small producers and other people uh, they they will be going under poverty so there will be a disparity between rich and poor so that the wide gap between that earlier gap earlier gap is uh, that will be widened that will be widened due to globalization earlier gap between rich and poor that will be widened due to globalization that uh, you know that uh, economic inequality or income inequality income inequality is that may happen uh, due to globalization that is one of the one of the negative impact what is one of the negative impact of globalization next one it may leads to loss of autonomy it may definitely leads to loss of autonomy suppose if one country think that our country is an autonomous autonomy country and uh, uh, at the same time uh, if uh, they tie up with the globalization if they follow the globalization definitely they can't say that it's an autonomy country 
so that you may lose to the autonomy of that country so that the many countries they have they have the free right to trade relations with that country so that the autonomy can't lose so it may lose the loss uh, autonomy next to one is that underdeveloped countries depend on advanced countries underdeveloped countries it badly affect the underdeveloped countries why why it badly affect the underdeveloped underdeveloped countries they can't they can't implement their or they can't introduce modern machines the modern technology modern machines because that country underdeveloped they cannot uh, they can't uh, support economically they can't support uh, support the enterprise they can't uh, support the enterprise at the at that at that time what happens uh, they can't uh, develop uh, they are they will be underdeveloped countries these underdeveloped countries they can't exist due to globalization these underdeveloped countries they can they can't produce the uh, high quality products uh, they can't use modern machines uh, modern technology they can't uh, introduce so that is underdeveloped country they they want to depend on advanced countries they want to depend on advanced country otherwise what will happen they can't sell their products their products will be competed with the multinational corporations if they compete with the multinational corporations definitely this company will become an under failure because they can't produce modern technological goods modern technological advanced goods they can't produce at the same time so this advanced countries that is they are got to become a boosting power that time what happens these underdeveloped countries definitely want to depend on this developed they definitely depend on this advanced countries underdeveloped countries they definitely depend on advanced countries because advanced countries the countries their products are high quality products and they use modern technology and they use the different different according to the preference they according to the preference only they preference of the people only they produce goods so that that will be attracted definitely they are going to attract the people attract the people and the, the consumers people or consumers they will purchase the goods so and moreover service from the goods what sir if that is a durable good a durable goods definitely they will get a service definitely they will get a service if that is a durable what is the difference between durable goods and fixed goods durable goods that it means that it it last for long time the last one on the more over it had services it had services once any complaint or anything happened any problems happened in that goods definitely they can approach to the service agents from that service agents they can repair it and if guarantee is that definitely free of cost that they will get the service otherwise paid paid service will be available paid service also will be available if that goods um, from that goods are paid service are authorized or authorized service or authorized service I hope that you understood the model. Uh, understood the model. These advanced countries are modern technologies and how they are developing these goods. So that uh, their countries are automatically many uh, developed countries, uh, developed countries, many developed countries, they get more profit, more profit due to globalization. At the same time, what about the underdeveloped countries? Underdeveloped countries, they were forced to depend on these uh, advanced countries. I hope that these all these things are being understood. Moreover, you know that. Uh, countries like india what they will do they want to introduce flexibility what is flexibility in goods what do you know about flexibility in goods it means that any companies can invest money in our country and they can and they can make a trade relations with our country so that that will be attracted by the investors or in investors they can they can invest money because there is no not much rigid or strict kind of uh, laws are there strict kind of laws are so that they can uh, they can uh, invest money so that uh, the company will be flourish so that uh, that will be benefited to our country because people are ready to invest money they want to uh, produce uh, goods in our country so that uh, many people may get a job many people may get a job moreover they will do this uh, company they will do this company uh, the products they will get best quality products they will get best quality products so that uh, moreover the country automatically will develop if the company established in one country definitely they 
they want to do the improvement of that country, especially this money goes to our from investor in our country, so that it will goes to our country. So that will be that will be utilized by our country for the development and activities. For the development and activities. So moreover, this what funding you remember by purchasing the goods, the money goes to poor countries. By purchasing those because automatically this money goes to other countries. Because if we purchase the multinational companies for us, the money automatically goes to that country. At the same time, here so many development that you know that they maybe have the infrastructure in India. So the roads Consumers, they are getting varieties of goods and good quality products. First, it is benefit to the consumers. Consumers, they will get wide varieties of goods, wide varieties of goods, good quality goods. They will get, they will get the choices. Consumers will be benefited. They will get the choices. Wide varieties of goods, they will get the substitute goods. They will get the, moreover, they will get the good 
qualities at a lower price, good quality products at a lower price. These consumers are they can get good quality products. Good quality products. Good quality products. At the lower price. At the lower price. For cheap, at the cheap rate or cheap rate or rate or lower price, it will be the high quality, good quality products. So it will be benefit to the consumers. Consumers will be satisfied. Consumers, they will be satisfied. So the consumers want to come, they will be satisfied. Uh, consumers become happy. Consumers become happy because they will get a good quality or quality products at the lower price. Always the consumers, consumers they want the lower, they want the lower price goods. They never prefer for high price goods. They want a lower price uh, goods, uh, but uh, they need at uh, the same time they need high quality or good quality. There is a good quality product at a cheap rate. That was the, uh, that was the uh, satisfaction of the customer. Then only the consumers will get a satisfaction. Consumers become satisfied or consumers, uh, uh, they will get a satisfaction only through uh, good quality product at a cheap rate or at a lower prices. If they get a good quality product at lower prices, consumers become so that it will be satisfied due to globalization. Due to globalization, it will be better that they become very happy. Next thing is that new jobs are created. New jobs are created. New jobs. Many people they will get a job, especially those who are getting technological advancement there. Those who go to high skilled people, those who are skilled, those are skilled or those who know the modern technology definitely they will get a job in MNCs. In MNCs definitely they will get a job. So, uh, so their social status will increase. Then it helps them to increase the social status of these uh, high skilled job workers. Those who are high skilled, those who are uh, those who know this technology definitely they will get a MNC a job, a job in MNC. So that's uh, as per the uh, their salary, as for the salary of the MNC, they will get a good salary. So that uh, many no jobs, new jobs uh, created in industries such as, uh, so you know that uh, the phones, uh, uh, especially mobile phone phones and other things, uh, then electronics, those who are efficient in electronics, uh, uh, not only repairing, uh, selling, repairing, uh, all these, uh, those who are efficient or skilled, uh, they will get a so electronics, uh, then fast food, uh, then automobiles, fast food, uh, automobiles, uh, uh, phones, uh, phone, uh, and electronic, uh, electronics items. So that at least uh, there will be a boosting, boosting emergency. Due to that uh, boosting emergency, uh, what will happen in the market? Uh, or those who are efficient in it, or those who are skilled, uh, they will get a job. There will be job opportunities. Uh, so that uh, new jobs uh, that are Next step. Third thing is that the local companies are proposed to supply those items. Local companies uh, that will be benefited to the local companies also. Local companies that will be benefited to the local companies. How that will be benefited to the local companies? They, the local companies they can supply their product. So they can supply their product to these uh, multinational corporations uh, or MNCs they can uh, produce their goods. So once uh, they produce their goods, uh, they will check the quality of that uh, product. If that local product is good quality, produce good quality, definitely they will purchase these goods. So then uh, they, they don't need to find out the market. Local companies don't need to find out the market. They can directly approach the uh, companies, uh, multinational companies. Uh, so that they can sell their products. These local companies, uh, they can take up with these MNCs. Uh, they can take up with the MNCs so that they can give this, uh, their product, uh, product to the, that company. They will uh, check uh, the quality, first quality, second quality, or third quality. According to that, they will assess and they will give money to that uh, goods. Uh, so that they, moreover, they can supply raw materials also. The local companies, they can supply raw materials. Local companies, they can supply raw materials to these companies multinational corporations to they can supply raw materials. Also. 
Tapi kami ni jangan sampai rumah ini dia sahaja. Even the local companies are proposed to supply raw materials in these South industries. In these industries, they can supply raw materials. Top Indian companies have gained successful collaborations with the foreign companies. Even the top Indian companies, even Indian companies, So that the service and its self-managed job opportunities, service and its also 
over many job opportunities. Next, we want to study about the next topic. In the last topic, we are studying about the government policies. What was the policy of government? Government policies. Government led policies. This is the last topic I want to uh, I want to take this last topic that is government. What was the policy of the government? So government policy that is policy we can call as flexibility. Flexibility in uh, to the labor law. In flexibility to the labor law. They follow the policy of flexibility. Why they follow the uh, flexibility to labor law? To the labor law, they uh, uh, they always have uh, importance for flexibility, so that many companies can invest invest money into our country. They can start uh, industries in our country. If it become rigid and uh, high uh, import tax, definitely no company will dare to uh, do business in our country. So that in India also, their economic policy also, they have flexible flexibility to uh, labor laws. Flexibility to labor laws. In India's labor laws, there will be flexibility so that it will attract many companies to start in India. So labor supply, so labor is labor they from they can produce a labor supply. And when they need more workers for a short period, they can depend on labor supply. So, actually, what will affect the only small producers only. Small producers, they may lose no work. They can't sell their products. Otherwise, they will tie up with the foreign companies. If they tie up with the foreign companies, the problem is there. Foreign companies will not uh, buy products at high rate from these uh, small producers. Only uh, at a cheap rate only, they will, uh, they will buy the things from these small producers. Then they graded after only, uh, they uh, export it to different parts of the Otherwise, they will, they will brand it after only selling in that country also, they have the right to sell in that country also. They can, so that a large number of small producers and markets are perished due to MNCs, multinational corporation due to the, that will be perished. So, MNCs always in higher markets, MNC always prefer to higher markets rather than appointing government work. They always higher markets. MNC produce cheap machine-made goods. MNC always produce cheap machine-made goods. MNC can shut down. Suppose if MNC, think, if MNC understood that the company is not profitable, they can shut down that company. Definitely they can shut down that company. They can shift it to another country because globalization, liberalization. So liberal policies are there. So India follows the liberal policies. Many companies, that is why many companies that are working in our country. Many, uh, many companies uh, uh, that are working in our country and many countries uh, country they establish uh, their companies in India also. So, uh, the temporary markets only they prefer, no need, no need of PM Prodan Fund, no need of overtime money, uh, no need to give health insurance, no need to give health insurance. So, automatically they hire workers rather than preparing them for the workers. So next last topic, last topic of this lesson. Last topic of this lesson. We are going to the last topic of this lesson. That is struggle for a fair globalization. Struggle. Struggle for a fair globalization. First point, labor laws should be implemented properly. Labor laws. labor laws should be implemented fairly. Labor laws should be implemented fairly. If labor struggle for fair globalization, first of all, labor laws, that, that should be flexible labor laws should be implemented. Next, a small producer should be supported. Uh, third one, use trade and investment targets efficiently. And the last one, negotiate at the build trade globalization for fair laws. These are the things for the fair globalization. Then only uh, many countries will be invest money to invest money over So I am going to end up the session. I hope that you understood the lesson very well. Thank you.